G'day everyone, Kim Hart here. Welcome to Beyond the Canvas. What is a COA? A Certificate of Authenticity. Today I want to talk about COAs or Certificates of Authenticity as this is a subject a lot of collectors of mine or other paintings have questions about. Of course there is a lot of information out there about COAs but some is missing the point, or is not applicable to paintings, is based on ulterior motives or just simply wrong. I want to give collectors of paintings the information that really matters. So this is about art and paintings only. Not COAs for collectors cards, Microsoft Windows software stickers or 1967 Ford Mustangs. At the heart of every art collection lies a profound desire for authenticity and legitimacy. A certificate of authenticity is the key to unlocking this trust. It serves as a beacon, assuring collectors that what they possess is a genuine work of original art carrying the artist's true spirit. A certificate of authenticity is not just a mere piece of paper or a holographic sticker. It is a crucial testament to the legitimacy and value of the painting. In the world of art where creativity and expression intertwine, the COA serves as an assurance that the artwork in question is genuine, providing a historical footprint for the piece. For artists, a COA is a safeguard against forgery and unauthorised reproduction. It solidifies their artistic legacy, ensuring that their creations are properly documented and recognised. This documentation extends to provenance, materials used and other pertinent details that enrich the artwork's narrative. On the collector's end, a COA is more than a formality. It's an investment protection mechanism. With the art market rife with potential pitfalls, having a certified document guarantees the authenticity of the piece, influencing its market value and resale potential. They are often required for insurance purposes, estate dissolutions and independent valuations. In the dynamic world of art, where masterpieces change hands and traverse borders, the importance of a COA cannot be overstated. It acts as a passport, guiding artworks through the complex landscape of the art market, ensuring their journey is well documented and their provenance remains intact. Art collecting is not merely a passion, it's a significant investment. A valid COA adds an extra layer of security to this investment, assuring collectors that their prized possessions are not only aesthetically valuable, but also financially sound. It becomes a shield against the risks of forgeries and deceit. Just have a look around. There are always fake or stolen Kim Hart originals or unauthorised prints out there for sale. Some might remember a year ago during my exhibition at the Gold Coast University Hospital Arts Centre, four of my paintings were stolen. Two of them popped up for sale on Facebook Marketplace for a while, but none of them have ever resurfaced. Yet. But I bet one day I, or a gallery, or a certifier, will be asked by some innocent buyer to provide a COA, only to be told that they bought a stolen piece of art. Let's demystify the process. A COA is only created on two occasions. The first and most important one is by the artist, him or herself, straight after the creation of a piece of art. That's the preferred option, and how it should be. The other occasion is when an existing piece of art doesn't have a COA, either because the original one got lost, the artist never issued one in the first place, or the painting was lost or stolen and had disappeared for a while, or sometimes even centuries. Then a third party, could be a museum, a gallery, or a trustworthy art expert, are tasked to apply a rigorous authentication procedure. From expert analysis to historical research, every aspect is meticulously scrutinised to ensure the artwork's true lineage. As they still get it wrong sometimes, the history of art, fraud and theft is full of examples. The most important COA for paintings is actually the signature on the painting itself, which is usually painted, not handwritten. Beyond that, there are many other ways to compile a document that is separate from the painting. They all have pros and cons, but to name a few, there is handwritten documents with signatures, printed documents with signatures using different papers, printers, printed documents with attached or printed photos of the painting, holographic stickers and prints, real holograms, nowadays NFTs or non-fungible tokens based on COAs, and even more involved techniques like the one my dad Pro Hart came up with. They attach two encrypted samples of his own DNA to both sides of the painting, one visible at the back 
one invisible in a predetermined spot on the front, with all the details preserved in a database. This works well, but is complicated and very expensive. It also requires a third-party entity that stays active and accessible beyond today and tomorrow. Do you want to bet on that? That brings me to the concept of digital archives in general. Most of them are set up by companies for profit. Some solutions claim that with their help, you don't even need a physical COA at all. It's all in the cloud, forever, accessible and encrypted. Really? It's like putting all your eggs into one basket, never a good idea. What if, for example, their underlying blockchain ceases to exist overnight, like it has happened to thousands of cryptocurrencies? What if the company ceases to exist and no one pays the bills for their website and their maintenance or the underlying technology and database anymore? In summary, is there a bulletproof recipe for the perfect COA? No, because every artist would be using it right now. Will there be one in the future? I very much doubt it. All you can do as an artist is pick a system that makes sense and works for you. Practical, affordable and reasonably secure. So listen on if you want to know how I do it, based on all this information and 40 years of experience. I have settled for a certain type of printed, signed and laminated COA, which have several key components that make it harder to forge them. The main element being a high quality photo of myself holding the painting. The other elements are printed text that include name, size, media material and date of creation. The last element is a handwritten signature with the exact date of the signing. The resulting document is laminated for mechanical protection, waterproofing and UV stabilisation. The laminate also makes it difficult to photograph or photocopy the document, which is intended and adds to the fraud prevention. I also keep a record of all my paintings. In the ever-evolving art market where forgeries and replicas abound, a COA serves as a safeguard against deception. It acts as a testament to the artist's skill and the uniqueness of the artwork, providing a solid foundation for its provenance. Museums, galleries and potential buyers often demand this document to ensure the integrity of their art collections. Beyond its protective role, a COA enhances the marketability of a painting. It becomes a selling point, instilling confidence in potential buyers and facilitating transactions. Artists in turn benefit from the increased trust and recognition that the well-documented COA brings to their body of work. In the intricate dance of the art world, a certificate of authenticity emerges as a guiding star illuminating the path towards a deeper appreciation of artistic endeavours and securing the legacy of each masterpiece. Are they really that important? The short answer is simply yes. If you want to preserve the value of any piece of original art, you need a COA.